Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, Mica powders. Check out the video. Now the reason for this video is the fact that I'm getting so many questions from you guys asking what Mica powders do I use and which ones do I think are really good. Well, I'm going to get you covered in this aspect now. The Mica powders I use for a very long time now are from Resin Pro, same as the resin I actually use as well. Now I think they're very good, the colours are absolutely amazing, but hey, words don't show how they actually look. So today I'm going to sacrifice some of my resin to actually show you how all these colours look like. The resin I'm using is a slow setting one, plus 40 minutes, depending obviously on the conditions um, outside, so the temperature, moisture level, and so on. Uh, the ratio is 100 to 60, component A, 160. So as you've seen, there's quite a variety of different colors of mica powders. In total, I've got 20 prepared for you today, so we can check them all out. Now, uh, the containers that are in, they're absolutely perfect for small projects like jewelry making or anything like that. I really do like how they are actually designed and uh, they've got a screw on on top and there you go you've got that plastic thing on top so you don't add too much if you don't have to. As I said they are perfect for small projects if you're making some jewelry anything like that absolutely fantastic. Now it's time for component B. And let's give it a good mix. Now if you are beginning your adventure with resin casting, jewellery making, anything like that, I do have you covered on my YouTube channel. I've made a whole series of videos about resin, what resin to choose, what colour pigments and all that. So, you know, there's a lot of information here on my channel. I'm going to leave a link to a playlist with all those videos for you in the description of this video. So I would definitely uh, recommend you check that out. As you can see, I've got all my containers ready, but what I want to use, I want to use the release agent here. Um, that will help me to remove the resin when it's fully cured, basically, and hopefully not to destroy these containers and I can reuse them later. Right, I'm gonna pour some resin in now. I'm going to drop links to all these Mickey powders for you um, down below in the description of this video so you can exactly uh, check them out and see if they would be any good for you. Okay. There you go. As you can see, the application is ever so simple and easy. It's not causing an issue at all. Look at that, super, super nice silver colour here. It actually mixes with the resin really nicely. Uh, there's no issues with that. It's not leaving any lumps or anything like that. It dissolves in the resin, even in the thicker resins as well. So you're definitely not going to have any issues with that. Check that out. Really cool. Obviously, we'll see how it looks like when it's fully cured. Okay, so that's the first one. Next is this Pearl Effect Pigment Mica Powder. Uh, I do say it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, tell you what, let's pick up a larger batch for that. And again, the application is ever so simple. You don't need anything to scoop it out, anything like that. Ever so simple, just like so. Let's mix that up. 
hope you're going to be able to see it how it shimmers it uh, really adds fantastic effects and obviously with this uh, particular makeup powder you can add it to different colors uh, as well and it really adds some fantastic effects to resin and you just can imagine what projects you can do with that look at that looks really really cool I do love it this one is a white pigment so you can use it as a base for example it's really nice really like heavenly white if you know what I mean really bright and fantastic effects to it as well really cool next is this one a bit like a copper effect let's have a look really nice and rich color I do have to say I've been using these mica powders for a very long time now at least two or three years now and I've not been disappointed with how they perform as yet to be absolutely honest with you and the price is very competitive uh, to what you can get on the market currently next we've got this one goldish color similar to the copper one but I think you can see uh, the copper goes into a bit more reddish color whereas this is definitely gold now this uh, light pink color and look at that it's really nice and bright pink fantastic okay now it's time for this one a really light pink I would say as you probably already noticed I'm not very good at naming colors <laughs> unfortunately but hey just a bloke here guys <laughs> as long as it gives me an effect that I want I'm happy with that really nice now it's time for this one and as you can see you don't really have to use a lot of the powder itself to have a nice coverage in the resin which is very important because in that way you're just saving your money basically and this is uh, bright gold I would say really nice and live gold color fantastic deep violet really nice and deep color here guys you can use that as a base with lighter colors on top absolutely fantastic Now it's time for blue. Again, a, some sort of a pinkish color. bright blue steel color what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take some photos of all of these as they cure so you know exactly which casting is with which bottle, which mica powder. I'm gonna do a post on my website so you can clearly see which one is which. I think that's the easiest way to let you know, you know, if you're looking for a specific color, then you'll know exactly which one it was, which effect is responsible uh, for which mica powder. So um, again, I'm gonna drop a link to that on my, uh, to my website down below in the description of this video. This is more of a greenish color. And a 
another one. So as you can see, the palette of colors that um, you can buy uh, at Resin Pro is really, really nice. 20 different colors. I think that's plenty for any projects. Uh, obviously, remember, you can mix them as well. So you can create your own colors. Um, so that's always a uh, possibility here, guys. Now we're going into the greens, uh, light green here, guys. This is a bit more like green and gold a little bit. The effects you're getting with this one, very interesting color. And now the final color, yellow. Let's have a look how this one comes out. Really nice and bright yellow here, guys. It's not gold, it's definitely nice and yellow. Okay, now have a look at the results. Okay, so I've mixed them all up. Now they need to cure. In my case, I'm gonna leave them for 24 hours. Fortunately for you, it will be just a second. But yeah, I'm gonna leave them and we'll see how they look after they cured. Okay, as you can see, I've demolded everything. And before we continue, I just want to mention that I do have some really cool uh, neon powders as well. So that will be in a separate video. You can check out how awesome uh, they look as well. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, consider subscribing so, so you don't miss any of my future videos. As I said, that will be in my uh, video probably next week. And I do have some um, color shifting um, powders as well and a few others. So there will be quite a few tests happening in the next few weeks. So yeah, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss anything. Now I'm gonna show you from a bit of a close up how they came out. And as I said, I'm gonna take some photos with each casting and obviously uh, which um, mica powder it is exactly next to it. And all those photos will be available on my website website so you can go and have a look um, and check them out with you know higher fidelity and you can see the colors more in a better way basically and I'm going to drop a link to that below in the description of this video as well but yeah let's have a look at these from a bit of a close-up
Okay, so I hope today's video brought you some information. Maybe you've got a favorite color now. And just to sweeten everything up, I've got a great news for you. Um, I've been partnered with Resin Pro for years now. And to be fair, it was my resin of choice before we actually partnered. I've got a bit of a discount for you uh, with my discount code. All the details for that are in the description of this video. I hope you got some good information from today's video. You know, now maybe you've got some favorite colors of yours that you can use in your upcoming project. Now, I do recommend all these products. I recommend the resin. I do recommend the mica powders. I've been using everything from Resin Pro for at least three or four years now. And we actually partnered about two years ago. I think they just got really solid and good products, I have to say. Maybe you haven't heard about Resin Pro before. So yeah, definitely worth having a look, guys. Now, that's it for today's video. Don't forget, we're gonna have some uh, neon powders coming out uh, probably next week or week after, so you can check those out, how they look. And I have to say, they look fantastic. Just a spoiler here, guys. But yeah, for today's video, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Take care.